Hey everybody, it's Shay, and welcome to Love of All Things. Close my door, because I don't know how much of this. Um, yeah, I'm washing clothes and all that stuff. But anyway, welcome to Love of All Things, and today's topic is going to be my natural hair update. Um, let's see. I did my big chop May 15th, 2010, and so today is September 6th, 2010, so I'm almost four months um, natural, and I did trim my hair maybe like two weeks ago or whatever, just to kind of keep it healthy and all that stuff, and right now I have it pulled up in the headband and all that stuff. I'm not really concerned about length and all that great stuff um as long as my hair is healthy i could care less um so i guess overall in me becoming natural and me going through this whole journey or whatever um i have noticed changes since when i first became natural till now um my hair is way thicker like my hair is wet so um you won't be able to tell but how my hair is in this style when i dry it out it becomes very um poofy and it's like way thicker it's um not as thin or fine as it was when i first went natural so i kind of i really do like that um my hair is very curly like Right now, to tell you the truth, the only thing that's in my hair at this very moment is, um, you know, my con um, my conditioner mix that I have a video about. So in case you want to know what that is, please check um, that video out. Um, I sprayed in a little bit of this milk protein and olive oil leave-in treatment. Um, so I put a little bit of that and then um, I also use these two things. Um, they're both by Soft and Free, but one is and Pretty and then one is Grow Healthy. So I don't know. But anyway, I use the um, Daily Growth Lotion and then this oil, I mean olive and sunflower oil moisturizing lotion. And that's all that's in my hair. There's no gel. There's no um, curling pudding or anything like that. This is this is just my natural hair state. And um, I guess to kind of show you uh, my hair. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if I put the light on. If no, not really. If you guys might be able to see the color that it is. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't even remember when I um, dyed my hair. But I have like this much, maybe about this much, new growth where my hair is dark. And then it goes into the lighter color. Um, as far as hairstyles go... I have not really been one to do tons and tons of different hairstyles in my hair. Normally I wear it like this in what I call um, my curly afro or wash, to, wash and go setting. Basically I wash my hair, I put my moisturizers in, I leave. And so this is it. Um, the other way is my puff. People at work know me for my puff because I wear it like literally four days out the week. Um, it's really simple to me. It's really easy. Um, it's just something that's quick and simple to do. I need to do another video updating the way I do my puff now because I've changed it a little bit to get um, my hair in the front to lay down a little bit more. So... I really need to do a video to update that. Um, normally when I do my puff, how would I say it? It's like, okay, I wash my hair. I wear my hair like this a day. And then um, 
the next day, I'll wear my hair in a puff. And then um, probably every day after that. Um, I have slowed down on co-washing. Um, I used to co-wash like every day. Um, I have stopped co-washing as much. Um, I'm trying not to manipulate my hair as much to kind of leave it alone. So, um, I think you kind of have to do what's best for you when it comes to the whole natural hair journey um, sort of thing. Um, people at work ask me all the time, have I shaved my hair out? Do I know how my hair looks when it's straight? And the answer is no. I haven't even put heat in my hair besides like a blow dryer. Um, since, and that was when I, uh, colored my hair, but I have not put any heat in my hair whatsoever since going natural, meaning flat iron, whatnot. Um, the back part of my hair, since I've done my trim, it does, like, still, I don't know if you guys can't see, but it's still, like, right here on my collarbone or whatever, and then I think this part comes about like right right here um, I don't know if you guys remember me saying that once during my actual um, I was transitioning and I had a sewing in and the scissors actually cut through one of my braids so on this side I had hair that was shorter than on this side I've kind of evened it up so they're pretty much the same length now um, when I trim my hair, I kind of trim just like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit off of this side. And I trimmed a little bit more on this side just so they're a little bit more even. Um, probably whenever I do decide to um, straighten my hair, I'll do another trim just so that everything's even. Um, but yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else I could tell you guys about my natural hair um i guess as far as experience goes i know i've told you guys this all the time about why i chose to go natural each person's journey to go natural is their own each person's transition period to going natural is their own i transitioned for a year um my big chop was unexpected and to tell you the truth it was kind of weird. It's like if I look back on how the whole big chop thing went, when I big chop, I probably wouldn't put a weave in it so quickly as I did um, after my big chop. Um, but to tell you the truth right now, I'm so aching to get a weave back in here. It's not funny. Um, but at the same time, like Brett loves my natural hair. Like, like, we'll be laying in bed or something. We're going to be laying on the couch. And he's just constantly, like, playing in it and everything. So, I think it's just, like, a whole part of, like, acceptance of it all. Um, I like the fact that you guys just see my head. Um, but, yeah. It's a whole, like, acceptance of it all. Um, my hair is my hair. Pretty much. And this is healthy for me. Like, this whole journey thing was healthy for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so I can only give you guys or tell you guys how I feel after um, I did my journey to becoming natural. And my journey to becoming natural was one that was kind of craziness to me. Like, everybody at my job asked, how did I make it a whole year without... Um, you know, straightening my hair out, relaxing my hair, or whatnot. Well, of course, as you guys know, because you kind of went through with me, I think I have weaves in like almost all the time, like sew-ins or I did quick weaves or whatever. But that and braid outs. But I chose to keep my hair under wraps because it was just simpler for me. Um, I don't like manipulating my hair. Even now that I am totally natural and everything, I rarely use combs. I rarely use brushes. Um, which is probably why my curly hair always tries to find its way into tangling up with each other. 
each person, I mean, each texture has their own level of difficulty. And my texture, like, I love my texture. Don't get me wrong. I love my texture. I love all Afro textured hair, whether you choose to be natural and kinky, whatever. To each his own. Um, I love my texture. But at the same time, it's not like the ultra prima donna texture of natural hair. It's curly. When I wear my hair like this, it tangles into each other. I spend a lot of time detangling my hair. My hair mats up together a lot. Um, so just because it looks curly and all that stuff does not mean that it's naturally carefree hair. Um, you can still go like this and you'll get caught up. Like my hair is freshly washed right now and it's freshly detangled. So of course it's easier for me to get my hands through my hair. But let's say later on tonight when I try to do that, it won't happen. So um yeah. I think it's just when when you do if you do decide to go natural and you do decide to take the journey and go through everything, be sure to make sure that you know what you're getting into. Being becoming natural is not the easiest thing in the world and by no means is it a simple journey. Um so just kinda be aware of some of the things that's gonna influence the way you're thinking. Like don't go through the natural journey, be through it like three months, four months and you're ready to relax your hair again. That's kinda pointless. It's not worth the effort. It is not worth the time. Um, but yeah, let me stop because when I start talking about something that really gets to me, I keep talking. So until next time, you guys. Bye.